Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to see how to install Jupyter in Mac. So there are multiple ways to install Jupyter in Mac. One is installing with Anaconda and the other way is to install without using Anaconda. And in this video I will be showing you how to install Jupyter without using Anaconda. So if you are trying to install Jupyter using Anaconda, so I will create a separate video for that. You can click on the i button and it will show you the link to the other video. So the first step is that to check if your Mac already has Python installed. For checking that you can just click on command space and open terminal window. So once the terminal is opened you can just type python3 and version. It will show you the version of the python that you have. If you don't have any python version it will display that there is no python command found. So now I already have python3.12 installed it's showing me the python version. Let's say if you don't have python already installed you can just open google and search for python and you can open the first link to python.org and inside python.org go to downloads and download the latest version of python. If you are looking to download any older versions of python you can just scroll down on the same page and you can look for the other releases which are available. So if you are interested in installing any lower version of pythons you can click on any of these and you can download the installer that you want. So in my case it would be the Mac installer if you have Windows mission it would be Windows installer. So if you want the latest version you can directly go to download and install the latest version from here. Just need to download and open the downloaded file it will help you with the next step. So you just need to click next and accept the terms and conditions and it will install. The installation is pretty straightforward. So once you install python you come here and type python3 version again so it will show you the version of python that you have in your mac then the next step is to install jupyter jupyter is installed using pip command so before installing jupyter let's check if jupyter is already present in our mac for checking that we can just run pip3 freeze so if you run pip3 freeze it will show you all the packages that are already available in your mac which are installed using pip3 it's just showing one package some package that i'm using internally but there is no jupyter or related packages available in my mac for installing jupyter you can run pip3 install jupyter so it's collecting jupyter it's going to take few minutes the installation is now complete now if i run this pip3 freeze showing all the packages that are available and Jupyter is one of them and all the other packages came because they are needed for Jupyter library. Now Jupyter is installed in our Mac. Now let's try to open Jupyter. So for opening Jupyter you can just run Jupyter notebook. So if you run Jupyter notebook it will try to open this notebook for you. It has opened this in some folder. So if you don't see this browser window coming up you can go back and here you will find a link to copy and paste so you can just copy this link and paste it here so it will redirect you to the same page so once you are inside you can go to any of the folder or you can create a new folder by clicking new here you can create a new folder like this my project one and go inside the folder and inside the folder you can also create a new python a kernel Right. Once you create this, the Jupyter notebook will open. So here you can write your Python code and you can use shift enter to run this code. You can come back here and you will see this untitled notebook. So you can rename this notebook to whatever the name you are comfortable with my notebook. So this notebook is now renamed. Now let's say that you are closing this notebook without saving it. So if you just close it, so it's not going to save any of your work here. Let me type this again. So if you want to save this you can just use command s or you can come to file here and save notebook or give save notebook as if you give save notebook as it will ask you to name the file if you use save notebook it will save the notebook with the same name it has already which is my notebook which we renamed earlier and now you can close it and if you open this notebook again it will have your old data and everything and you can start working from there and you can notice that in the background in the terminal this is still running so this should be running for you to use your Jupyter notebook. So if you close this, you can just use Ctrl C. So it will ask you for shut down this Jupyter server. And if you click S and enter, it will close this Jupyter server. And if you come back here and try to refresh this page, it says that site cannot be reached because it has closed this Jupyter again. So for you to open this Jupyter notebook and use them again, you just need to start this Jupyter notebook again 
and it will open this and you can go to your projects you can start working on your notebooks and just remember that whenever you create a notebook in Jupyter it's going to save using .ipynb extension so this is the simple way to install Jupyter in your Mac